A very good evening to all of you at home. My name is Peter Brackley. It's an exhibition match. AC Milan versus Inter Milan. My teammate in the commentary box today is Trevor Brooking. He'll be sharing his thoughts on the game. Welcome, Trevor. Yeah, thanks, Peter. It's good to be here. are providing a noisy and colourful backdrop for this great occasion. Well, there is a lot of talent in both teams and this has the makings of a classic encounter. Just not good enough. Kaka. Gattuso. Kaka. Down the right. Pirlo. Shevchenko. It's going right in front of goal. Knocks it upfield. I'm not sure who that pass was intended for. Hits it long. And he lays it back. They continue to keep possession comfortably. Launches the ball forwards. Martins. Rolls it to the right. Knocks it out to the left. The long ball forward. Lays it back. Veron. Moves the ball towards the left flank. Rolls the ball over to the left. He tries his luck. Play switches to the left with a long pass to the wing. He dribbles out to the left. That's an angled cross. The defence is playing very well as a unit. Plays it wide to the left. A long ball forward. Another throw in here. And this, I believe, is the first corner of the first half. We need to convert from this corner. A chance for an opener. You can see some space opening up here. It's heading for the penalty spot. Half time. They started off rather well for them. Well, they did, Peter, and let's hope we see more attacking football from them in the next 45 minutes. 
The scoreline at halftime is AC Milan, nil. Into Milan, nil. See what effect the half-time break has on the teams. Will we see a goal in the second half? Over the line for a throw-in. Long pass forward. Martins. He's gone for goal. So close, but it's just wide of the left upright. Fabio Cannavaro to the left. He continues his run down the left. Could this be the opener? He's loitering free in the center. That's easy for the defense. The cross wasn't bad. It was just a shame that nobody could get on the end of it. Yes, they made such good progress down the flank there. Matarazzi thumps it long. Kaka. Seydorf knocks it out to the right flank. Adriano. Martins. Breaking through. Where is the defence? Plays a long ball forward. He's still on the run. Keeper spreads itself well. Sends it back. Carries the ball through the middle. It took a deflection. That's the corner. Can the defence keep them out? Drives it to the middle. It's another corner. They really need to make use of this. The quality of the delivery is all important. Great delivery. Hits it well. Just wide of the left upright. He passes it forward. Only five minutes remaining. Pasquale. 
Lays it back into the middle. He goes square. Pushes it forward. Plays it out to the left wing. Great ball over the top. Let's see what they can do now. Another header. There's nothing between the teams after 90 minutes of football. So we're set for silver goal, extra time. Whichever no goals so far. Yeah, neither side seems to want to win this one. Surely someone wants to break this deadlock. Will we see a silver goal in this first half of extra time? How do you expect extra time to pan out, Trevor? Well, it looks like being the survival of the fittest. There's a lot of tired legs out there. And he's having a pop. It was a blistering effort. Plays the ball forward. Pushes it upfield. Can they open the scoring? The defenders are showing good concentration. And that's the end of the first half of extra time. And so ends the first half of extra time. And things are really getting tense now, aren't they? Well, you can cut the atmosphere here with a knife. So can we find a winner right at the death? Defences have been on top so far in extra time. Now the defender read it well, lays it off short, very nice. Sedor sends a long ball to the left flank, it's played long and forward. The referee blows his whistle, it's a double. Free kick. Taps it back. The referee's blown his whistle. There was some pushing there. Direct free kick here. Yeah? Rolls it to his right, plays it to the right. With the scores level at the end of extra time, we'll now have a penalty shootout. It's over two halves of 45 minutes plus extra time, and still, we couldn't get a goal. <laughs> Neither team had the composure to stick the ball in the back of the net. I suppose it doesn't bode well for the penalty shootout either. With the scores level, the game will now proceed to a penalty shootout. And the penalty shootout begins. He's getting ready. Struck with authority. He made it. It's 1-1. It's 1-1 now. 
drives it to the keeper's right-hand side. Straight down the middle. If the keeper hadn't moved, it would have been right into his arms. Into the left side. It's 3-3. Three, three. Well, it puts more pressure on the guys taking the last few kicks. He needed to be more decisive than that. It's off to the left. It was a good attempt, though. To the keeper's right. If he misses, it's all over. Too close to the keeper. That's decided the game. It was close, but they couldn't win. So, Trevor, when all said and done, they've lost it on penalties. Yes, they did well, but when it comes down to spot kicks, it really is a lottery. We're running out of time. Let me say a big thank you to Trevor Brooking for providing our game analysis. Thanks for your wonderful comments, Trevor. I assure you the pleasure was all mine. This is Peter Brackley saying thank you for joining us. Hope you enjoy the highlights once more as we end our broadcast.